Um, Captain's Log, I don't even know what today is. And that's what I have going for me. So I'm just back from a vacation, a week away, very simple, uh, two or three legs of a two hour ride south, someplace hearing ocean waves from where we were sleeping. And the point of this um, reflection is about what does it mean to really take a step back? So I've been impressed during the coronavirus uh, with a language that keeps uh, speaking to reflection, taking a step back, not assuming that the normal of the past is the normal of the future, or let's say even the desired normal to aspire to. Um, and with the simplicity of getting up when I get up, taking a walk, hitting the ocean, doing a swim, eating when I'm hungry, and not having the packed in decisions of a routine clinical day on top of administrative tasks, planning for a future. Um, a mind that is, uh, even in a uh, decision-making and somewhat organized framework, simply overloaded. And as much as I know, it doesn't hit me like it hits me on Monday, when throughout the day, I am just laughing out loud about all the things that are asked of me and saying, wow, it's really busy. It's kind of crazy to be seeing patients and having emails to respond to or in baskets to check with or catching up with people from simply a week away. And the insanity of it um, and the ease of seeing it and the comfort with it not um, finding its way into my heart rate or into my reactive uh, responses to things. Um, it's kind of one of the miracles of uh, this period of time. So I'm hoping that what I'm saying, if it actually hits the airwave, um, is that in particular healthcare people continue to ask this question as things get busier and more demanding. I'm back to surge planning. I left on vacation having communicated through email that when I came back there would be conversations about new asks. And I'm wondering if I'm out of my mind now with the idea being that no more asks are okay. Um, that the idea of um, we need to because it's an emergency still has associated with it relief from other responsibilities. So if we've got to give ourselves to emergency needs, is there not a way that the business needs of every day can be compensated for? If we're really in an emergency, why is our language still that we're going to do both things? Um, as if that's a reasonable ask. So maybe at the end of the week, I'll have an idea um, that I was really out of my mind today and hope that it hasn't been uh, made apparent to other people. But my inclination is that the way I'm thinking right now is more reasonable. Um, and even if it can't happen, even if the system, whatever that is, the powers that be say, um, it's just the rules of the road, um, then at least the question was asked and the one other person out there who agrees with me doesn't feel alone. I'll settle for that at this moment. Um, last point is having involved in more meditative practice and having done meditation for 40 years of my life, I was reading a simple uh, account of um, meditative process, higher consciousness meditative process that's really oriented to not mindfulness, but not mindfulness in the service of clear comprehension. And what people often find as the empty space um, or silence is actually presence. 
And so I feel like what I want to offer people is um, the wish that during this time they find presence. Thank you.